Alright everyone, Light Money Gamer here, and welcome back to more Prison Architect. <clears throat> so what I did is I went ahead and built the foundation up here so that we could go ahead and have that open for later. Uh, for now, we're probably going to... Let's see. I'm thinking about putting doors here and here, because this is probably going to become a new cell block. And we'll be able to move it to the right a little bit before I'm going more to the left, so that'll help us out in the long run. So that's what we'll do, we'll do that. Have this become its own cell block whenever we got it ready. So, um... We can also start putting it in the walls, I think, now. Uh, no, it's still in progress until the walls are put, until the doors are put, so yeah. Oh yeah, and now that I got that as a guide, this, this, I think it was this, there we go. And we can do it like that and that. Have the big pipe coming down this way. And just like that. There we go. And that should give us water throughout this whole thing here. More or less. We'll just need one more right there. No, nope, not right there. Dang it. Ah. And thanks to that, I also had to get rid of the goddamn um, shower pillar. So put that back in. <laughs> goddamn that thing. Ah. <laughs> just kidding. Of course, there we go. Okay, so now we need to make patrol routes. Now, patrols are interesting now. Let me pause this here to explain this. Patrols work a lot different than they used to. It used to be that everything was in this deployment page here, like getting patrols, all that. Now there's these like options in here, like prison direction, visitor's direction, other's direction, blah, 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 blah. All of this is supposed to make it where, like, it basically helps your prisons prisoners, like you can draw a path so say for example you want all the prisoners from this cell block to head to here you could paint a path i've tested it it doesn't work the way it's supposed to so it's up to you if you want to use it or not it still feels like this doesn't help them much so yeah just try it if you want for me i found that it doesn't work too well um the new thing with patrols though is they now have a new option for it and you have two types. You have blue patrol and magenta. With the blue patrol, it used to be if you made a patrol, say for example you go like this. And then back around. That'd be one patrol route, right? But now with the magenta, you could say, like, you want to build a patrol route that goes like this. And it basically makes that so that another group of uh, guards can go on that path without interrupting the flow of the other one. Ta-da! It reminds you of Pac-Man, doesn't it? <laughs> just a little bit. And then if you want to assign guards to it, you just click a random spot. Kind of like that. And boom, you finish the grant completion. <laughs> just like that.
now, unfortunately, like usual, there is no kind of system to tell them only patrol until you get tired and then switch out. Eh, that's still a problem in the game. They were supposed to make it where um, that was a thing. I remember reading, but I just, I guess they just still haven't figured out how to do it, you know? But, I mean, what you gonna do, right? So as per usual, you can go ahead and start building your cells even if you don't think you have enough money to build them. You always have that option available to you, you know. So don't be afraid to start building it. In fact, I think I'm gonna go ahead and dem just demolish these here. You know, that kind of defeats the purpose of the patrol, patrol route I made, but there's really no reason for that wall to be there. Occupied, occupied. So yeah, this is a new thing that happened in logistics. You now can see um, how your cells are. So, like, say, for example, you have an unoccupied cell, it would show up, I think, as blue, I think. Either that or it shows up as gray. I can't remember which one it is exactly, but, like, say you make a cell and you don't have a prisoner to go into it, it would show up as vacant, which is kind of neat. So you could tell yourself, um, you know, oh, okay, so that's where I need to go for my next um, thing. He's tempted just to go ahead and dis demolish this wall, too. You know? Let's see how that works. what we could do we could just make that where these have prison doors on both sides and make these cell blocks based on that and not have to worry about this right here I don't know it kind of seems a little silly that I just broke that without putting a wall because now this is all gonna be one cell block <laughs> we'll see we'll we'll fix that when we get to it you know as I say What's that saying? It's like, we'll burn that bridge when we get to it, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever the case may be. I still love how they try to put in concrete with a screwdriver sometimes. <laughs> it's like, okay. How many of these, um... Workmen, do we have? Yeah, we could probably use a couple more. Hmm. 
Wait a second. <laughs> Do they say that... They're basically acting like workmen have batons now. Oh no, that's his name. I was about to say, his name's Batten, which is like, it reminds me of like the batons that they carry. And I'm like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I was so confused. I was like, why is he carrying one? And I realized, oh, he's not carrying one. That's just his name. That makes more sense. Well then. I like it when prisoners are awake. Cause I'm like, wait, why are they awake? <laughs> Guess because they're just not tired. <laughs> okay. But it's always kind of suspicious. <laughs> Start doing work time. All right. Here we go. Could do that and just have them shower at the end of the day. How much is it from micromanagement? I just realized, yeah, it's just a thousand. We'll do that too. Because that was the other thing that we needed to look into. Oh, yeah. And we're also going to need utilities for all their toilets. Why does that not feel like a good idea in the slightest? You know what? Actually, no. Um, put a block out. That way they have to really work to get into it. Hopefully we'll catch it before then. We haven't put in any toilets in yet anyway. I think we'll hold off on that anyway. I mean, well, we do need to do that, like, soon is the problem. Because we need to get our thing up to 50. I love how that tree looks like a brain. How are we looking? We're doing great. Okay. Um, here's the beds again. I think I'm going to put them on this side. What if I should just go ahead and put him? Hmm. Like, you know, go ahead and lay it down even though I don't have the walls yet. Just so I know.
Actually, I wonder. Did I screw up somewhere here? Probably. I tend to do that sometimes. Uh, let's see. I'm going to start putting in... No, not that. The regular jail door. You know, it is kind of silly. Wait, did I really put... Hold on. Like, how's that possible? Because if the planning is the exact same... Oh, I see. Okay. So, yeah, these plantings are in the wrong spot. That's what that means. It's actually supposed to be like that. Yeah. That makes a lot more sense. <laughs> That's one thing I love about this game, though, is it's so easy to find yourself being like, um, why is this not looking right? And then you kind of, you know, figure it out just immediately. You're like, okay, wait a minute. I just put something slightly out of place here, just need to fix it, and everything will be fine. You know? Since you could go ahead and install a shower in there too if you wanted to. Here, down to about right here, I think. Huh. That's actually perfect. I think. <laughs> What's it gonna do? Let's see. I don't think they will like. Since the wall's already there, I don't think they'll cut it out. You know, put a new one in. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I think that actually worked out perfectly. So all we need to do is just come through here and go... walking around. Let's see where they're going. Oh, are they walking to... Yeah, they're just walking to these cells that opened up. <laughs> okay. That makes more sense. I'm like sitting here, I'm like, where the hell do these guys think they're going? <laughs> genius sometimes. thought his name was Fireberg at some point. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Multile. 
Oh, my tile. Nice. Oh, it's waiting for the beds. Yeah, okay, gotcha. It's so tempting to like unlock this door, but you know that if you do, you're gonna be like screwed. <laughs> uh, I got more prisoners about to show up. We might have to hold off on getting more prisoners for a while. <laughs> it's so tempting to just keep getting more and more prisoners. I will agree with a lot of people who have played this game before. It is very, very tempting um, to just be like, hey, you know, just bring in as many prisoners as you can every day so you're just constantly making, like, money hand over fist. But if you get your um, cell capacity too high, well, what ends up happening is before you know it, you're just getting, like, absolutely decimated by the amount of um, you know people who come in and before you know what's going on you're just like and I'm being killed <laughs> because like they're either like killing each other or you know something along those lines I don't know I just feel like this is weird but I'm gonna put a jail door there too. Now you know what, put a jail door. I don't see just how this works here if I do that. Coming in one hour. Oh, they were going around because that's where it's open. <laughs> Makes sense. Soon to not be anymore, but you know. Oh, how'd you guys get stuck in there? You little weirdos. Good thing they can't die in there, you know? Like, be like, yeah, we just died of uh, hunger and shit in here because you left us in here forever. <laughs> yeah, that's not how it works. Thankfully. Wow, we have a... Home-built trebuchet. <laughs> That's awesome. But yeah, uh, he's now maximum security. <laughs> Deep video game pirate. piracy. What has he been doing though? Like, it doesn't say like why he um, got up to that or not. Hmm. Maybe he killed someone. I don't know. about hygiene because I forgot to set this up as a shower <laughs> oh boy they're gonna start freaking killing each other eventually here oh boy because they do that if they get too filthy
Well, that room got dirty quick. Look at that. <laughs> I think during free time, they can also go take a shower. Yay, we got a worker. Hooray. Excuse me, buddy. Just let me push you out of the way here. <laughs> Good lord. They messed that thing up so badly. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. We need to get this area. Oh, I'm good to go with their toilets. We. <laughs> oh, boy, we need a laundry. Can we do that yet? I think we can do that now, right? Yeah, we can do a laundry room. Um, It's a decent sized laundry room. You know, just have um, four laundry machines in there. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Serious complaints, shackled in their cells, have been unnecessarily searched. Hmm. But yay, the shower is being cleaned. Thank goodness. <laughs> Good job, prisoners. You guys are doing great. I always feel proud of these guys when they're cleaning and stuff. You're like, oh, look at them. They're so precious doing their job. <laughs> Give him some phone booths. There we go. See, this is interesting. 
So you notice this door is open because of a garbage bag, but they don't try to run out while they're building the foundation. I don't know if that's just like, you know, a possible, like, feature of the game, you know, where they're just like, well, I mean, it would be kind of unfair if they were able to run out while the foundation was being built. But it wouldn't be that surprising, I guess. Alright, well I say we go ahead get that built up here because something must have prevented them from being able to get that built. And then I say we take a look at the prison here. It's looking really nice. We now have our like really nice cell block of 46 uh, prisoners. That's really good. Um, that means that they are coming close to capacity for the um, canteen, but that's something we'll have to fix next session for this game. Um, I think all in all, everything is turning out really well. We now have a job for them to do. We're gonna have a second job for them to do in a little bit here. Maybe work on that in the next uh, session of this. Cause I'm only gonna do two episodes this time instead of the three I did last time. I don't want to like overload this game too much because I'm sure this like this is the only thing I've done <laughs> as of right now. Not that that's a bad thing, some people would say. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys are happy to see this back and I was very happy to see that. It really made me feel better to, you know, jump back into this. Um, I'll say some words about this game real quick before I go ahead and end, though, because, I mean, it's just talking. If you want to move on, go ahead. I don't mind. But, um, I have to admit, this game is still super fun to play. Like, everybody agrees on that. They say that, like, games like this can be really relaxing to play sometimes, especially if everything goes the way it's supposed to, which, <laughs> let's be real, that doesn't happen as often as it should. Um... One of the funniest things about this game to me, though, is just, like, how you can jump into this game and just play for, like, a couple of hours. And even if you don't, like, accomplish a whole lot, you feel better because you at least attempted to, you know. So, that's a fun little thing that I like, you know. And, um... It's also really nice just to kind of have a moment where you can just sit back and kind of watch everything. Like, you don't have to feel like you constantly have to do something. I mean, there are some times in the game where you do have to do that, like if you don't plan ahead. But if you plan ahead and, like, you've learned the game and all that, it does feel like there's just times where you can just sit back, let your, let your prison just run, and it just works. Like, it's a well-oiled machine. I mean, sure, you have little things like once your capacity reaches too much, it's like, oof, you're kind of screwed, and you have to start fighting to get stuff back together. Um, there can be times where it's like, I don't know what to do with this, I don't know what to do with that, I don't know where to build this. And I do admit that if you find yourself at that kind of point where you're just like, um, I want to build something, say you know, um, right here, but, oh, man, I'm gonna block up the, uh, office if I do that. <laughs> it just feels kind of funny how, like, that's a thing that you had to just think ahead of, you know, plan ahead, but, yep, yeah, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some more episodes of this, and I will see you guys when I record more of this next time. Peace out.